So, see here speed of sound in different media like if you have taken solids aluminum speed of sound is 6420 meter per second at 25 degree Celsius steel it has got 6040 lesser than that liquids water sea water that is 1531 and if you have taken the distilled water 1498 meter per second if you take hydrogen 1284 meter per second and in air it is 346 meter per second all these speeds are at 25 degree Celsius so sound has got maximum speed in solids right but it depends on the temperature as well if you increase the temperature speed of sound increases for example you can see the speed of sound in air at 0 degree celsius at 0 degree celsius speed of sound in air is 341 meter per second but at 22 degree celsius this is 344 meter per second so basically here we are discussing variation of the speed of sound with the temperature as well as with the nature of the medium. So, here this is the speed of sound in different medium. Now, we will come to the next topic that is reflection of sound. So, now we will do reflection of sound. So, see here in reflection of sound as we have done reflection of light you know you have taken some surface like this it was I am just discussing about light here one ray comes here and it bounce, goes to this side there is a normal this angle is angle of incidence this is known as angle of ref uh, reflection and this is your incident ray and this is your reflected ray this was with the light same thing happen with the sound if sound is coming from this side striking this point and getting reflected so this phenomenon is known as a reflection of sound here also angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so there are many examples of the reflection of sound first one is you might have observed this is echo what is echo in case of the echo what happens when you speak your voices travels sound travels and gets reflected from the surrounding maybe from the cloud or something else as this sound reflected then again you hear sound after some time so this is known as echo so echo is here also due to reflection of the sound from the surroundings so see here whenever we hear some sound it persists for the point one second it means it, its impression or sensation remains in your eardrum for the point one second. So, to hear distinctly echo at least minimum time should be point one second. Suppose you have taken a speed of sound, a speed of sound is 344 meter per second at temperature that is around 22 degree Celsius. Now, we know the speed and I have just told you it sound come take at least 0.1 seconds. So, we can calculate distance. Distance is equal to speed into time. So, 344 into 0 0.1 meter that will be 34.4 meter and if you take is d by 2 that will be here. 34.4 divided by 2 is equal to here 17.2 meter. This we can explain. Suppose you have taken source of sound here. Sound waves are emitted from here. There is an obstacle. This is 17.2 meter. First sound goes like this and then it comes back. If the time taken to go from here to here and coming back to here that is the total time taken that is equal to 0 0.1 second then we can hear echo clearly we can hear two sounds clearly so the minimum distance to hear echo is 70 obstacles should be at a distance of 17.2 meter 